Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative with another Divi tutorial. Now this one is really simple. It's related to the Divi Blurb module. Now all we're talking about today is setting the content width. And let me show you what I'm talking about here. On this demo site, I have three blurbs. So I have a border on the columns on this row. And then down here I have the border on the row. And you can see that, you know, in the first example here with the two blurbs, the content fills the entire column, right? So from side to side, the content is filling the column. Now down here, you can see that the blurb is not filling the entire width of this row. So if I was to inspect here and just show you with the browser, the different sizes of the window, what will happen is the blurb, well, you can see that it now it has switched. The one on top, where it was two of them, now that also is not filling the width. See that now all three of them look like that. Um, and you can see as I get wider, in fact, what I could do is even make this row a lot wider. Let me just do this with the code real quick. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let me make this 100%. See, by making the row wider, well, now that looks like, you know, <laughs> see that? So it reaches a certain point right there where it looks okay, and then anything wider, the blurb is not wider. So this is a really simple fix, and I'm going to show you that. So again, make sure um, you always follow along our written tutorial. We have screenshots and sometimes code. Now, in this one, I don't really have code, just some screenshots and directions. It's really simple to fix this. Go into the actual blurb module and I'll open up the builder here and show you. Just open up the settings, go to the design tab and under sizing right here, you'll notice that content width is set to 550 pixels. Now to me, this is really strange to have the content width as a hard pixel value rather than like a percentage. Like if I would go into the row in the sizing, you'll see that the width is 80%. They're using a percentage and it, that makes a lot of sense. But for some strange reason, in the content width, it's 550 pixels. All we have to do here is type 100%. And we override that. Now this blurb is going to be 100% wide the content will always fill that container. Let me just show you the comparison. In fact, I'll update this one as well. And you can see right there, it already has filled up the row. So I'm gonna go back to what I was showing you earlier. All right, so again, right here, now the bottom one we notice is better, but this here, we don't notice anything yet, do we? Until we change that row width again, which I'll do here. Now you can see the difference between these top two blurbs. Notice how the one on the right is keeping that 550 pixel width and the other one is adjusting. So in my opinion, um, it looks better and makes more sense to have it set to the content width 100%. Now, if you agree with me, Here's something I would recommend doing. Open up that setting again and just right click on this setting and you'll notice one of the options here is apply style to active preset. Well, the preset that I have is just the default preset. So that means the default blur modules on this site, I could actually update the preset, right? So if I say apply style to active preset, it's gonna ask me if I really wanna do this, yes. Well, now you can see it becomes grayed out. Now that's the default. So on this whole website now, anytime I add a blurb, it will look like that. It will be 100% and that will be the default. So watch this, if I open up this other one, which we know I did not adjust, the sizing is 100%. So there you go, nice little trick there. And I apologize if that seems too elementary for some of you, I know um, some of you are more advanced users, but some of you are also very beginner users. And my idea was that, you know, 
this answer just needed to be published out there. So that's what we're doing. And now when someone wonders, here's the answer. All right, well, that does it for today. Make sure you are subscribed to our channel for Divi tutorials every week. And we'll see you all in the next video.